much, Mark. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency is in the news just about every day, whether it's the extreme volatility, Elon Musk going back and forth on whether to take it as payment for Teslas, or criminals demanding it in ransomware. Republican Congressman from Ohio, Warren Davidson, has become something of an expert in cryptocurrency policy, and we welcome now to Bloomberg. So, Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. You have really gone out in front on cryptocurrency. Give us your attitude toward cryptocurrency, and specifically whether and how it should be regulated. Well, one of the most important things is that we get a clear definition for what is and what is not a security. You know, if you remember back to 2017, 2018, there were a lot of uh, ICOs, initial coin, off coin offerings. And this was essentially a regulatory arbitrage thing where companies were trying to essentially launch a security. Uh, but lots of things were trying to just get an idea out there, and they're clearly not securities. This has been one of the hangups at the SEC, and I think it's one of the biggest opportunities for Chairman Gensler to really provide clarity for our markets. But really, this is Congress's job. We should pass this law. This is part of uh, a really bipartisan bill, the Token Taxonomy Act, that uh, Darren Soto from Florida and I introduced in 2018. So we've continued to work on it. That's one of the biggest things. The other big thing is custody. So one of uh, who, who has custody of the crypto. And this uh, lack of clarity on that piece is a big part of why uh, normal retirement funds haven't been able to offer crypto. And this has been the best performing asset class over the past decade. So it's really consequential that your average uh, retiree or saver hasn't had uh, access to this directly in their retirement portfolio. So I think the last thing is tax, tax consequences. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Because you, you would give something of a tax break, right, to uh, appreciation of crypto? Yeah, just the same as you do for regular currency. So, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm not for... Uh, uh, you know, redefining the whole regulatory framework, at least initially. It's just, let's apply what already applies to, to other currencies. Uh, so let me ask, uh, if it's not a security, does CFTC regulate it? And regulation seems to be important. I mean, actually, Bitcoin is down substantially today because China has reiterated its position. It doesn't want its people trading in crypto. Well, it doesn't want people trading in something else that China doesn't control. So China's an authoritarian regime. And they're in the process of launching a central bank digital currency. So it'll behave a lot like, uh, you know, Bitcoin would, except that it's completely opposite. It'll have the central authority, the Chinese Communist Party, controlling all of the behavior of it. So they'll be able to literally monitor every individual's transactions, and they'll be able to link it to their other data to essentially establish a social credit score. Not just the ability to repay, but are you being a good citizen in the eyes of the Chinese Communist Party? So it's really a system of control, not a not a, a real monetary system in the sense of store of value, means of exchange. Uh, Congressman, cryptocurrency has fi figured uh, largely in the ransomware demands on some of the attacks on infrastructure. Uh, it's not clear to me how a ransomware would work if there didn't have the pseudonymity of cryptocurrency. Is there any way to make sure we still have cryptocurrency, but it isn't used for really illegal purposes? Certainly ransomware, but others as well. Yeah, and I think this is why uh, it's important that U.S. Treasury gets after um, things like, you know, there's a company, Chainalysis, is one of the early movers in this space. But if you truly wanted to be, you know, private, you would, you wouldn't put it on the, you wouldn't put it on the chain. You wouldn't put it on a public ledger. Uh, Congressman, uh, if in fact there's regulation that goes forward, does the CFTC do it? Uh, well, the CFTC is the primary regulator for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, there hasn't been a clear ruling on other, uh, other crypto products. And uh, look, everyone thinks about uh, the payment systems, but the broader architecture blockchain is going to be dynamic just like the Internet. I mean, we're 30 years into the Internet, and we haven't even begun to tap all the use cases. So we're in the infancy of the blockchain architecture, and it truly is a different architecture, a different way to establish trust. Uh, in a much more secure way. You're on the Financial Services Committee. We just had word that uh, Robinhood looks to s disclose their plans on going public next week. Maybe by the end of June they'd go public. Do you have any initial thoughts about Robinhood going public? I I'm excited because I think the earlier stage, a company that is mature, uh, Robinhood's uh, proven its uh, value. It's proven its resiliency in, in the face of some uh, market dynamic changes. So kind of the venture capitalists and uh, private funds got it uh, bootstrapped up to this point. And look, the United States has the best capital markets in the world. I think this is a great opportunity. We'll see how it's priced as to whether, you know, it's a good price for the stock or not. That's for the market to decide. But I think, you know, more uh, people can participate in the ownership of this company. And it really is a transformative idea, really, the whole spirit of the name and everything else 
is more democratic access to capital. And um, that's emblematic of what we should be doing with our capital markets. You know, average ordinary investors ought to be able to have the kind of access to capital that the Wall Street insiders do. And the recent uh, news about Robinhood has, has really drawn that um, into the discussion. Congressman, thank you so much for being with us. I hope you'll come back and talk about One Belt, One Road, because we have a lot to talk about there as well with China. That is Representative Warren Davidson. He's Republican of Ohio. This is Balance of Power on Bloomberg Television and on radio.